Cam Newton has been getting some flack last few days. He said some interesting comments about certain players, about certain things. Here's what I want to say. I'm not going to go where everybody else is going. We've had, we've had just people taking shots at him, criticizing him, saying, oh, you hated this. Oh, who are you? to? Com-? I'm not going there. What I'm more disappointed at is the buzzwords. See, I'm always a, I'm a person that likes to listen to certain things. It's like dog whistle, right? You hear certain words that kind of prop you up. Cam Newton was a veteran quarterback in this league, right? He's a former MVP, went to the Super Bowl. He's a national champion, right? Did it I had all of these accolades and these great things that he's achieved in his career. He knows better than anybody what game manager means in the actual football world. Game manager is a negative connotation towards a quarterback. This has been like that for 30 years. Game manager. That means that you can only do so much. You don't have the ability to take over a football game. Don't mess it up. Don't turn the football over. Just do your job. Make a couple of throws. Make some easy reads. And that's it. Trent Dilfer. Game manager in 2000 with the Ravens. Didn't have to do much because that defense was what it was, right? That's what a game manager is. So when you have Cam Newton say that Dak Prescott, Brock Purdy, you know, uh, what's my girl? What's my man? <laughs> I said girl. J- Jamie Lee Curtis, Tua, you know, Jared Goff. We're talking about Jared Goff. Um, they're game managers, Jared Goff, I can understand. Tua, I can even understand, right? The other two? Eh. And then when you use that word or that term, he more than anyone knows what that means. So instead of him saying that and then have to walk it back because the walk back was really sad to watch. It was more about him standing on his square and like, uh, No, you caused this because all you had to say was, here it is, Cam. This is what you should have said in your first time. I am not going to use game manager in a negative way. I know that what you guys will probably say if I say game manager, I am going to switch the actual definition of what that is. I particularly think a game manager is this. Because when you say that Tom Brady and Peyton Manning are game managers, what are you, stupid? That's the first thing that people are going to hear. The first thing they're going to hear is game manager Tom Brady. Instant hate reaction. Game manager Peyton Manning. What do you think was going to happen? That's like in basketball, you call somebody decent. (laughs) Yeah, he's all right. He's decent. Decent means that you can play, but you can't really play. Roly. Right. You're a guy that just fits in. You're decent. So when you walked it back, he said Tom Brady and Peyton Manning were game He said that in the original thing. Okay. He said that in the original comment. Oh, God. That Tom Brady and Peyton Manning were game managers. Oh, stop. That's bad. Yeah. But what I'm saying is that he, like, like we said off camera, right? If you have an address that you know, you know your, your man's house. You go there all the time. Somebody asks you, yo, I'm trying to go to such and such's house. Can you direct me? I can't, I can't really direct you. I know how to get there. The person that's trying to get there is trying to listen to you get there. They don't know where you're going. He is supposed to be leading that conversation to tell you what he means. Everybody's not going to know what you mean. You, on the other hand, you played this game. You've heard game manager in your head your whole life. 
You know what that means. He didn't grow up being a game manager. He grew up being an athletic difference maker in his career. A game changer. He knows what game manager means. So this is why the walk back, to me, was weak. You screwed it up the first time. You are a media personnel. You should know exactly where you're trying to direct your audience. I knew what he was trying to say, but you're not saying it is going to get you messed up. So, who got some? I think he was trying to really put it out there that the quarterbacks that he brought out aren't game managers. They're just not dynamic in the way that he was dynamic. Yes. Right. So, That's what he was trying to say and failed miserably. Failed miserably. It came off as hate. It came off as somebody who I don't necessarily think as good as Cam was for those couple of years that he was good is going to make it to the Hall of Fame. I think his... his Get a little closer. I think his view of himself is a lot bigger than everybody else's view of him. Right. And I think he struggles with that. So I think when he sees um, um, Goff, he's getting praise over in Detroit for the turnaround that they're doing right. over there. Tua is getting praise over in Miami for what they're doing with that offense. Um, Brock Purdy, people are on the cusp of calling him the next Brady. Right. You know what I mean? And Dak, Dak is, in, is MVP, really, when you think about and it. Let's, right and let's think about it. Cam is only 34 years old. Mm -hmm. There you go. Why is he not in the league? Manager, exactly. Exactly. And I didn't hear the walk back. Yeah, Tom Brady started his career as game managing, but Peyton Manning, I can't even say that about. And if you're gonna say it about Peyton Manning, the one year that Peyton Manning was a game manager, they won the Super Bowl. He beat you in the Super Bowl. All right. Cam Newton is the last person you should be saying these things about anybody because this year and last year you were still trying to get into the league. And the league don't want you no more. What do you think a GM to coaches are gonna think when they hear you talk like this on the podcast trying to sell subscriptions? Are you crazy? Now, I respect what you the way you put it, because I, I hear what he was trying to say. Those guys, they're on their way. Brock Purdy's on his way. Dak Prescott's in his bag. Tua and Jamie Lee Curtis, I'm not gonna fight for, <laughs> but I know what he's trying to say. <clears throat> You can't be the one to say it, bro. Not that's when you're begging to get back into the That's game. all I'm saying. I, I I just think that, you know, he of all people, and that's what that's what made me very disappointed in the take, is that you know what game manager means, bro. Don't 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 say that. See, don't say that. That's the part that that because I agree with what everybody has just said. Yeah. Except you for a little bit. Cause I think he knew he was taking a shot. Like that's I genuinely think he knew that he was taking a shot. Yeah. Like I, I he knows what game manager means a hundred percent, and he knows that. But that's what he I'm wasn't considered. Like, but I don't think you disagree with me. I think you more agree with me that he's no, he's he's using he, he's trying to he used that term like what do you what do you say like derogatory. ignorantly. Yeah, like yeah, like he right. tried to make it sound like, but and that's when he put Peyton Manning and Tom Brady's name in there to clean it up. Well, but he the, already the walk back was is yeah. what stuck with me, right? Because when he said, "Listen, man," when when everybody was saying that I was trying to insult people by saying game manager, that's not what I meant at all. I'm like, come that's on, exactly yeah, what that's mean. exactly what you, you mean, know what right? game manager like, means. From yeah. what you were saying, I thought you were saying that. The walk, like when he walked it back, that's what he actually meant. But that's not what he said at first. Right. That's what I got from what you just yeah. said. Yeah. I disagree with that. I think he knew exactly what he was saying at okay. first, and then he walked it back afterward. That's what I think. But listen, I what you just said, six is exactly right. Right. Peyton Manning beat you in the Super Bowl when Peyton Manning was at his absolute worst. Couldn't throw five there's, yards. There's no way. I mean, listen. The, the reason Cam Newton isn't in the league anymore is because his completion percentage, I mean, I think it was over 60% twice in his whole career. Yeah. Um, two like, in the league for the past 20 years. Like, mm -hmm. Cam Newton can't throw. 
Right. You can't throw. So as, as much when as, his legs went, he was done. So as much as you were an impact player, you couldn't throw the ball when it when it when it was when it was needed. Right. So what difference does it make? If you if you are this dynamic player, you can't throw the football. You're a quarterback. Your job is to throw the football and make passes accurately. Couldn't do it. He's used to being the man. He yeah. can handle not being the yeah. man. Yeah. And That's what I think. Yeah. For so long, when your legs finally go, a la Aaron Rodgers, a la a couple other people, he's supposed to be able to depend on that arm. Right. But now you know the defenses. Camp could. been around a couple times. Now you know what's expected of you in training camp and how to lead. But then you went to the Patriots and did what? Whiffed. Yeah. So like I said, I knew he was throwing shots at them as soon as he called them these motherfuckers. Like, <laughs> like as soon as that's yeah. how he referred to them, it was clear shots. Yeah, like, he that, said, and to be honest, Dak Prescott. Like when right. he said it exactly like that, like disgusted. You, you put like that little tone on it. That's that's taking a shot. Yeah, that's taking a shot. Yeah, what? Well, that's what I'm saying. I I knew what he was saying. I'm telling. You, like I'm like yo, bro. You you. You're using game manager. You know exactly what you mean, yeah. bro. Like you grew up hearing that term and looking at guys that are game managers like, uh, oh, you knew what you were doing, man. So the walk back just made you look silly. Just made you look silly. Because at the end of the day, just stand on it. If that's what you really meant, then stand on it. Don't get mad because you're getting all this backlash now. This is media. You need to know how to speak properly. And he just didn't do that. So, moving on.